It is extraordinary the lengths to which ordinary villagers went to to be part of the resistance. I'm standing right now in the village of Demetiv in Ukraine, about an hour outside of Kyiv, and the Russians actually got here. And when they did, the villagers had to make a split-second decision. And so they burst the dam of a local water reservoir, sending water surging, in this case, all the way to this woman's backyard. Uh, this home belongs to a lady by the name of Valentina. She's 59 years old. She's lived in this house for her entire life. It's a home that belonged to her family. Luckily, the back portion of the house, which is where chickens typically roam, has escaped unscathed. But there is an area that the family has been using during this war for safety and security, and that's an area of the house where they go when there is shelling, a bomb shelter. And if you follow me, I'll tell you a little bit about what that area looks like right now. And it is pretty much entirely submerged. There it is. Valentina has tried moving as much water as she could, but the water was coming in so quickly, she said that she basically just gave up after a little while. As far as the cost, the financial cost of this war, the damage to transport infrastructure alone, the Ukrainian government says, is $85 billion. And in some cases, Ukrainians have also blown up uh, bridges, more than 300 bridges across this country uh, to prevent the Russian advance. Again, another indication of the agonizing decisions they have had to make during the course of this war. Omar Sachedina, CTV News, Demetiv, Ukraine.